So I was talking to a buddy of mine before and telling him all about my Linux CNC endeavors and my adventures with Classic Ladder. And he gave me a great real-world example that I wanted to show you guys. He was telling me that he had to build a custom machine for a customer one time that utilized two dead man buttons that were timed to one another where if you pressed one button you had a half a second to press the other button or else the output wouldn't fire. So think of it as a um, some kind of press or what or, or what have you. If you have your hand in a press and you activate it that's a safety concern you can lose your hand. So a lot of industrial machines a lot of industrial machines uh, in the in the stamping industry and anything that presses down, they have two paddles that you have to press simultaneously to activate this press to get to verify that your hands are out of the way. So I said, what a great example to show you guys. So to get right into it, I've got my Linux CNC fired up. I'll go to my HAL configuration. I'll go to my classic ladder. And right out of the gate, we can start building our logic. So I'll go in and I'll create two circuits, one for each button. Each circuit will have a timer. Each timer will be a timer permanent. From there, we'll set our inputs. We'll use input 0 and input 1. I'll have two outputs, but each output is going to be a B output. So B0, oh, in this case B1, B0. Those two circuits will form an AND statement underneath of B0 and B1 and that will latch output Q0 so from here we can go to our HAL configuration and test out all of our stuff here I'm going to use my PlayStation controller to simulate the two dead man switches and then after that, what we'll do is we have this latching output, which will turn a relay on. It will go through what it needs to do. In this case, run a hydraulic solenoid that will press down, return, and on return, we'll have the return stroke tied to a proximity sensor at the top that when it reaches its home position, it will turn off the latched output. So, to start off, we could do a net, button 1, classic ladder dot zero dot in dash zero zero, and we'll tie that to input dot zero dot button dash A. We'll tie button B to output number 1 and we'll call that button 2. And we can test those out. And we can see that they turn on. The timers I'll set to 100 milliseconds with a preset time of 5. So that gives us 500 milliseconds on timer 0 and timer 1. And now we can test those out. Button A, button B. We'll see underneath we have our latching internal, or we have our internal relays latching for those half a second on each one. If we were to press both of them, we would latch output Q0. But once the set output is enabled, if we go to our watch list, and we go to classic ladder, zero and we scroll down to our 
output zero zero we'll see that it's currently in the true state we'll add input zero input one to our watch list and we'll add input two to our watch list because we're going to use input two as our home sensor we will add a rung we'll create our reset circuit and we'll tie that to input two from there we can just net button three to classic ladder dot zero dot in dash two and we will use button C to unlatch the output. Go back to our watch list, hit OK. Now we can see our set and reset coils. We have our input 0, input 1, and input 2. So now input 2 resets the output input one input two both have half second timer so if you press each button and you don't make the circuit in time it won't fire the output the machine returns back to its start position fires the proximity sensor and the output turns off so I thought that this was a great little example to show everybody. Um, something real world that you can use, put in, the back, uh, put in your back pocket in case you ever have to do something like this. And um, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And hope to see you soon.